Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel. Um, this will be a general reading to have a look and see how your person feels about you Pisces. Whether you're dating this person, you're married to this person, you'd like to date them, you're currently in some sort of fling with this person, this reading might be helpful in uncovering how this person might be subconsciously feeling okay, towards you and your situation. Um, it will be a general reading, so for private readings, please feel free to email me. You'll find my email along with the list of prices and services below this video. This could be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and for Venus. How do they feel? Okay. New Moon in Cancer, you and your loved ones are safe. Wow. This is amazing. This is a highly emotional card. It's the sign of Cancer. Um, a new moon is a new beginning, new feelings, um, new uprisings, revelations and epiphanies. Um, someone is feeling really, really comfortable in your um, relationship, whether both of you are. Um, there's something quite intimate and private going on with this person and I believe they're going to open up. Um, it's really holding something near and dear. Um, and, and I feel like this person is understanding how special you are to them. Um, they're reconnecting with you in a very emotional way. You know, cancer energy is nostalgic, it's sentimental, it's meaningful. They're very endearing and compassionate signs here, Pisces. So you'll definitely appreciate um, this side of them or this this more um, their emotional capability to tune in with yours as well, okay, as you're both water energy here. So it might be more potent for those that are dealing with the cancer here. Um, but, you know, it, it is, it's someone... Um, they might be feeling like you're letting them in or they on some level feel much closer to you because it's it's a new, it's the start of a new cycle and it's allowing someone to be a little bit closer to you. Cancer can be protective, okay? If they feel threatened or they feel like someone is being disingenuine, they've got pincers and they won't be afraid to use them, okay, Pisces? So um, there could be a little bit of insecurities here, emotionally speaking, but I think for the most part, it is a very super emotional um, energy. Um, but... I feel like the, the moon is very happy in this sign um, of Cancer because it's it's two, uh, one of our two home signs, which is along with Taurus. Um, I, I feel like things are, this person is feeling like everything is happening in their favor. Um, and it's very, very positive, especially towards of private and intimate matters that might be happening around this person as well, Pisces. So someone is feeling safe, someone is feeling loved, someone is feeling um, emotionally in tune with you. Wow, okay, that's very nice. Two of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles, definitely. Three of Swords and a Five. Okay, Con contrasting cards here, however. So some of you will feel one end of the spectrum. Let's start with the positive over here. Uh, two of Cups, Twin Flame Lovers coming together for a union, um, seeing eye to eye together, um, reciprocity. Again, it's two, it's two Cups. Emotionally, the two of you are on the same page here, okay? Emotionally, the two of you are feeling the same respect towards each other, the same love, the same compassion. Um, you're sensing things together, and this is very, very powerful. You're actually connecting on a very strong emotional frequency, and this person definitely feels it. Um, the Leo here could symbolize, A, as someone under the sign of a Leo, or more do dominance, fierceness, um, initiative, and proactiveness that this person might... Um, they, they might display um, but there's definitely someone who's thinking about marriage for some of you there's someone who wants to propose or become married or get engaged um, or become exclusive or connect with you have a very deep and meaningful conversation about your emotions about the direction of your relationship because they want to offer you something stable and something in the physical realm because you also have the eight of uh, ace of pentacles which is absolutely beautiful um, could be an earth sign here, which came up in a couple of the cards, Taurus, Cap, or Virgo coming through for some of you Pisceans. But the Ace of Pentacles really is a God-gifted opportunity. Someone, and it's obviously a very valuable opportunity, so someone is treating you with a very delicate energy. Um, and I like this because I feel like delicate private matters are coming up around this person, or they're wanting to invite you into their more intimate side. Um, they might show you a lot more of their intimate side, not, not only emotionally Pisces, but also in the physical. Um, I feel like there is someone around you that's feeling very, very generous. Now, this person might spoil you 
could be with money, it could be with a gift, but there's some sort of token of appreciation that they're going to present you with. And I believe the reason they're doing this is because you've made them feel safe. You've made them feel loved in one regard, he Pisces. So this is very, very nice. Um, but there is possibly someone that wants um, to undergo some sort of milestone with you. And when I say this, this could be buying you a car, buying you a property, um, joining accounts with you. It could be something in the physical or the monetary funds. Now, this might be someone completely different over here because the cards are extremely contrasting. And look, there's a good and there's a good and bad sign. Um, sorry, good and bad features of every sign. And for this sign, I feel like Cancer's good and bad sides have really, really come up. So in one aspect, someone is feeling very, very safe. Someone is feeling loved and appreciated and adored, which is absolutely amazing. But on this side, there's some, There's a lot of, it's like funky town. There's a bit of something happening here that isn't gelling well with someone. In particular, for those of you Pisceans that have options in love and that you're playing around and you're with two other people, this, this person is catching on okay there's for some of you there's someone that feels like they're not your first priority in fact there's someone else that still has your heart or someone else that you're still emotionally or mentally attached to and they sense it okay they're highly emotional cancer is a very intuitive sign maybe not as intuitive as you pisces but someone is definitely feeling this on an emotional and mental level they feel some sort of disconnection um it could also be that this person has another person on, on their end, all right? Um, could be an air sign, gem, Libra, Aquarius, but this person might be might have options in love as well. And they're going to choose the one that makes them feel safe because this is what they're yearning for, whether or not they're a cancer, because right now they've been through the neglect, um, they've been discarded, they've had that in the past, they don't want that anymore, they don't want this mistreatment. Well, maybe for some of you, if this person wants to go back to an ex that treated them horribly, then that's on them, that's their journey. Um, if that's the decision they, they, they've they made, you know, we, we make our beds, we must lie in it. Um, Maybe this person needs a few more lessons in love. I don't know. Um, but there possibly is someone that's conflicted, okay? Um, or has to choose between you and another person or between you and another priority, um, a work thing, uh, a creative thing. And maybe it's fallen on their shoulders and now they're conflicted. Their head and heart is deeply conflicted. Um, and cancer tends to be this way if they feel hurt or they feel underappreciated, they'll retreat in their shell and you won't see you won't see much of them anymore. So for some of you Pisceans, there could be someone that is retreating, whether or not they're a cancer, whether or not, you know, that's the case. But for some of you, there there might be someone that's retreating, okay, because they feel neglected. So if you if you have been doing this with someone, um, Pisces, if you have been neglecting them, the five of one the five of pentacles, sorry. Is a card of feeling like we're left out in the cold. It's a card of feeling disregarded, like we're forgotten, or we're not a priority, or we've, we've reached out and we've asked to spend time with you, or, or have, have to do things with you, or create memories with you, um, and, and we've been knocked back, or we've been neglected. We're in a very precarious position. So for some of you, this person is feeling like they're at a bit of a loss, um, at a loss for words, at a loss for what to do next. It might be an earth sign, a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo that's feeling this way. Not necessarily, however. But it is a card of neglect. And the notion of uh, feeling safe. But these people aren't very um, safe. They're, they aren't safe. They're prone to the cold, to the harshness of the elements. Whereas this one, this energy is feeling safe. So possibly duality here. Um, or it's this person, currently they have someone that's making them feel neglected, but then on the other spectrum, they've got someone that's making them feel loved and, and very committed to and valued. So this is, I feel like, a decision um, they have to make. It might be you, Pisces, but I feel like I, I'm centering this reading more on the other person you're dealing with, not so much you. So you know the decisions you need to make. This is more on their end, I think. Um, and I do feel like they've got a major decision to make because I do sense there's, there's a twin flame around this person, whether it be you or not. I mean, you have come up with water energy as the cups. And I do sense that they believe, or they, I do sense that this person has a twin flame and I'm convinced it might be a water and an air sign uh, or a, a soulmate around them or several soulmates around them. And this is the why they've, this is why they might be in a, in a period of, um, a period of where they might be a little bit disorientated or confused 
or conflicted. So I'm thinking it might be connected to that, but I guess time will tell. Um, look, it's, it's not always the case. I mean, I don't want you to think that there's this person is cheating or has someone, but I think for a lot of you, there's someone that there's an important decision they need to make, and it might not be necessarily involving you and another person, another lover that they need to choose from. It could, it could be that this person has unresolved heartache issues, maybe from your relationship, maybe from a past relationship that they're still holding on to, um, Pisces, okay? Because Cancer energy is residual feelings. Cancer whips a dead horse. Cancer holds on to emotions. Anything that scarred them or really evoked a lot of emotion, they'll, they'll never forget. And I think this person might be reliving the past, whether it was um, something that happened in your past connection or something that happened that's something that happened entirely separate from you. I feel like this is coming up um, for some of you around this person. So um, I will leave it at that, Pisces. I hope this reading has been insightful. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave behind a like or subscribe.